Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. On this video, we will see two snapshot modes that you can use on FSI Panel 2024 Advanced Edition with the Phoenix A320. Snapshot modes are like taking a picture of your cockpit if you want to repeat the same flight without having to reprogram the whole MCDU and the whole cockpit. And we have two modes today. We have one mode which is sitting on ground at a parking position where you can save everything and the other mode is sitting on a takeoff runway, engines running, ready to depart. Very useful if you want to train departure, engine failure on departure, without having to always reprogram everything. So for this video today, we are going to see the uh, snapshot mode sitting on ground at the parking position. If you want to look for the other mode, which is on the runway, please follow the link at the end of the video to see how we can do that. All right, so I just loaded here the aircraft in Zurich on uh, parking uh, Alpha 09er, and we are going to program a very short flight Zurich to Geneva, and you will see how to do it and how you can basically export with the community your snapshot and how to reload it uh, very quickly. All right, before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. That's helped me a lot. Thank you, guys. All right, let's go in the cockpit and see what we have to do. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit of our A320. I just loaded it in, in uh, Zurich, sorry, as I told you before. One thing you want to do is make sure you are in a turnaround with APU or turnaround with GPU so that your engines are off, but you are electrically powered. And now we are going to create a short flight to Geneva. So before we start FSI panel, as always, open the in-game model. And now we are ready. I will start FSI panel. Okay, when FSI panel start, just wait a couple of seconds and you should see the correct aircraft. That's correct, it's the Phoenix A320. Then we have the airport here, Zurich, and the closest runway to our position is runway 34. However, our flight plan is calling for a runway 28 departure, so I'm just going to select runway 28. This is my actual weather, I'm doing live weather, and I'm ready to take the snapshot. So to take the snapshot, you click on take snapshot here. And then you will get the first message, which is, do you want FSI panel to preset your cockpit? So I suggest you to go yes, unless you already prepared everything uh, uh, switch-wise. What FSI panel is doing, if you say yes, it will set all the switches at the correct position just, at the po uh, just before start, uh, basically, uh, position. So, for example, the uh, seatbelt sign will be on. You will have the uh, emergency light arm and so on. So it's a good idea just to click yes and let FSI panel work on it. Then this window will open here, which is the save panel state window. And there we will work together on doing this flight. So the first option you have here is the FCU altitude. So this is my initial climb altitude in Zurich, which is 5,000 feet on the SID. The second box is set correct QNH. So you can leave this box tick, I will suggest you. This is if you want to fly tomorrow, the same flight, and the weather has changed, you have a different altimeter setting, then FSI panel will just set the new altimeter setting, and you don't have to worry about setting the correct QNH or altimeter setting. Then once this is done, I click on Start Recording. Then it's taking a couple of seconds. FSI panel is working on the aircraft to set everything, and we'll get the next message on the screen which is, please follow the instruction on your simulator screen. So now we are ready to go. So I'm clicking OK, and I'm back into my simulator. This message now appears, and now we have to be very careful and follow exactly what FSI panel tells us to do. So please load your aircraft using Phoenix AFB, packs fuel and cargo, and click Send to MCDU, and when done, click here to acknowledge. All right, so let's do that. So we go to Mass and Balance and I'm going to load my aircraft. So let's say today I would like 150 passengers around, around one ton of fuel, of uh, cargo, and I need 4.2, 4,200 kilos of fuel, so I will just round it up to around five tons. So once this is done, five tons, 100, perfect. I will load the aircraft instantly. Instant, I don't want to wait. Now my aircraft is loaded, and as you can see here, click Send to MCDU. This is the button you can see here on the bottom right of the AFB. So I'm going to do it here. Success, and I'm ready for the next step. So I'm going to click here to acknowledge. Now FSI panel will start working on the aircraft, so you can see the Captain MCDU 
which is resetting, and then FSI panel will tell us the next step. Please program your MCDU. Do not enter the weights on init page two, and when done, click when done, sorry, click here to acknowledge. So why don't we enter any weight on page two? Simply because I'm flying in kilogram, and maybe my friend is flying in pounds, and as you can share your snapshots, then FSI panel will take care of the unit. If you program yourself the weight, then the aircraft, maybe your community or your friend aircraft with a different unit will not work and the, the numbers will be completely wrong. So that's the idea behind these do not enter weights on in each page do. Now, how does it work? FSI panel is basically now recording anything you do on the Captain MCDU. So once you do that, when you are ready to do it, try to make as little mistake as you can. If you do some typo, some uh, typing error, no problem, you will correct it, but this will be as well recorded. So when FSI panel program your cockpit later on, it will also do the, the same mistake and correct it as well. So let's program together this flight now. So it's uh, Zurich to Geneva. So Zurich to Geneva. Here we go, we are flying the uh, Crosshair Charlie Romeo X-Ray 001. Our cost index is five, and we are going to cruise at flight level 170. Good, now I'm not going to insert page two, as we said, so I'm going to flight plan, and I will put my departure. So we are departing runway 28, and I have as SID the Vebit 4 Whiskey. Insert. Now I will enter my routing. So after Vebit, I have some airways and the first airway is Tango 50 to Rotos. So let's do a mistake here, a typo. So I will type Roten and this is wrong. So I will clear it and I will type Rotos. So you will see then when we reload that, we're gonna have again, this mistake will also be done by FSI panel, of course, as it's been recorded. Solo 669er to Ulmas. Here we go. Insert. And now I just need to put my arrival. We are going for an ILS 22. And the star is Ulmas to Romeo. Insert. Now my flight plan is in the box. If you want to check your flight plan, don't check it on the Captain and CDU as it will be recorded. Go on the first officer and do it over there. Okay, now my flight plan is there. I just need my performance. So let's go performance page and we are going to compute the performance. So departure performance. We are departing Zurich. Runway 28. And we are going to take the final load sheet, live weather and calculate. And 138, 138, 139. Do not send to MCDU because it will not be recorded insert the value so 138 138 139 so 138 138 and 139 here we go now for the flaps we have flaps 1 down 0 3 so 1 slash down 0 0.3 and we are going to flex 61. 61, and accession altitude in Zurich is 4,500, so I'm just going to set 4,500. Now let's pretend I'm ready. I don't want to do more MCDU setup. I'm ready to fly like this. So I will click here to acknowledge. Now what's gonna happen, FSI panel will insert a few things and it will tell you here to set your cockpit as desired. So let's say I would like constraint, I would like to have constraint, I would like to have 10, 10, and what else? Maybe I want my VOR if I need to, and here I want the right frequency, so let's put 119.8 for example here, and my departure frequency 121.3, just in case you're flying on VATSIM, then already you can set whatever you want in the communication window. All right, when my cockpit is all set, I can click on the last step here to acknowledge. 
No FSI panel will set the weight for us, as you can see on the screen right now, on the MCDU. So this is useful if you have different unit. And that's it. Now it tells you to return to FSI panel, enter the snapshot detail, and save it. Perfect. So let's go back into FSI panel. OK, we are here. So now we are at this position here. Enter your description. So I'm going to tell Zurich Geneva CRX001. And I will click on Save Snapshot. Now it will take 20 to 30 seconds for FSI panel to look at all the switches of your cockpit and record them. So just wait patiently, and you will get the message that the snapshot has been saved to your database. So let's see that happening. It should take another 10 seconds, and we will have the message. Here we go. Snapshot added to your database. OK. And we have saved our very first snapshot. Now, if you want to see the snapshot, you can go to Load Snapshot. And be careful to have the correct airport and runway. And as my engines are off, this is the, the snapshots recorded with engines off. So if you record a snapshot with engines running, it will not show here. So this is my Zurich Geneva, and I'm going to export it and share it with you. So you will find the, the link in the description down below. So if you want to fly this and don't prepare the cockpit, then easy. Just drag and drop the file over FSI panel main window and it will import into your database. So let's do that now. I'm going to export the snapshot for you. So I'm just going to put here CRX001 Zurich Geneva ground. So we know we are on ground. Save, and that's it. So this will be in available for you to download. All right, good. So now to test this, we are going to reload the snapshot. So I'm going to restart the simulator in Zurich runway, uh, not on the runway, sorry, at the same parking position. And we will see what FSI panel can do. So let's restart the sim. All right, so Zurich. I'm going to uh, sit on a t in the terminal anywhere we want. So let's put our aircraft right there. Live weather, that's fine. And start flight. So now we will reload everything. All right, this is my aircraft sitting Alpha 09 as before. Ready to fly. Let's jump in the cockpit. And now that we're in the cockpit, engines are running. That this is my default panel state on the Phoenix. So I will change it, as I told you before. So Phoenix, panel state, and I want to turn around the DPU, activate. All right, so now we are on the APU. And as you can see, nothing is set. Basically, this is how you get the Phoenix. And now we will try to reload our snapshot. So to do that again, make sure you have the in-game module open. And now we can start FSI panel. There we go. Make sure you have the correct aircraft after a few seconds. This is the correct aircraft. We are departing runway 28. And now I'm going to see if my snapshot is listed. So I click on no snapshot. And we can see the Zurich Geneva snapshot that we just created. So I'm going to click load panel state. And let's see what happens. I go in the cockpit. And we will see what FSI panel does for us. So now you can look at the MCDU, the Captain MCDU. FSI panel will set the weight, the payload, and then we'll program the whole flight. So let's have a quick look at that. And remember, we had a typo. So let's see if you can spot it. So the fuel is there. And now we are going to have the Zurich Geneva exactly as we typed it. So it's just like you don't have to do it yourself anymore. You just load your snapshot. And you'll be ready to depart and to request pushback. So as you can see, everything we program is coming back. Departure, we selected runway 28. It was a Vebit for whiskey. Then we inserted our routing via Tongo 50, and then here we did the mistake. Look now, and it's been corrected exactly. So everything that you type is recorded. So this is why you should get ready to uh, make sure maybe you do it once without recording to make sure you know exactly what you want to type in, especially if you repeat several times the flight. Once you have a perfect snapshot, then it's easy to fly it several times. So see now the speeds. 
Then we had the uh, one slash down zero three, I guess it was. The flex, and finally I put the extension altitude at 4,500. Now, what else? If we looked, I think we put constraints, we put 10, uh, 10 nautical miles on the range, so now FSI panel will work on the rest of the cockpit. You can see that the correct QNH has been set now, 5,000 feet has been set, and we are still waiting for the constraint mode, I think we put it on uh, to, sh to display. So let's wait until FSI panel tells us that everything is ready. Now you can see constraint, 10 nautical mile, constraint, 10 nautical miles. Here we put the VOR, and we had the frequency 1108, 1 to 1 1.3. And that's about it. So now my aircraft is in the exact state that I want, and I'm ready to request push and start and fly without having to program it myself. As easy as that. So let me just demonstrate one more thing how to import the snapshot should you want to fly it and then that will be the end of the video so let me just show you that on fsi panel okay so this is the file that you will download if you follow the link in the description down below and when you open the archive you will get the fsf which is a snapshot file just unzip it in the same folder in any folder you want and now the only thing you need to do is take that file and drop it in fsi panel main window and now you can see FSI panel saying FS final state imported in your database. As easy as that. And now if you go to load snapshot, it comes twice because I had it already once. So this is my snapshot imported. So feel free to try this short flight to Geneva. Everything set up for you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, please drop it in the section down below. And the next video will be about the same thing, but ready to depart. So if you don't even want to program the MCDU and you don't want to prepare a cockpit, you want to right away start a flight, then you will you want to see the next video. Uh, very uh, the, At the end of this video, you can see how to do that. All right, guys, thank you very much. Please subscribe to the channel and stay safe. I see you very soon for another training session. Bye-bye. Thank you.